Hey there, what's up? Today I will be showing you how to set up your own private VPN service using Pi-hole. But before I begin, I just want to apologise if the audio quality is not up to scratch. Pumpkin Tech is a new channel and we are still learning the ropes. We all have to start somewhere, right? There are many reasons to use a VPN. For example, to block ads or tracking cookies or to give yourself a little bit of extra privacy when you're browsing. It's important to note, though, that a VPN is not an all-in-one privacy solution, so you shouldn't rely solely on a VPN. So, what is Pi-hole? Well, Pi-hole, put simply, is several things. It is a ad blocker. It is a DNS server, and it can be a VPN. A VPN is a private network, a virtual private network, between two devices. Uh, in this case, between your desktop or your mobile, and a server that can then forward your requests onto a uh, web server or similar. Now, a VPN is typically encrypted, which means that any requests you make uh, on the tunnel are completely private, so they cannot be tracked by your service provider. Now, Pi-hole, as I said, is a ad blocking system and a DNS system, and it can be a VPN. So, Pi-Hell has you covered on those bases. Also, pi -hole is incredibly easy to install, as you will soon see. So, today I will be showing you how to install pi -hole using a virtual machine. Now, for me, a virtual machine is fine but I would recommend using something like Linode or DigitalOcean, which would allow you to have your virtual private network outside of your home network, and all of your requests would then pass through that cloud server. Okay, so once you have your service up and running, uh, you should have a SSH access to we can start to install. The easiest way is via SSH, but if you're working on a local machine, you may need to install the SSH service first before you can carry on. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into my virtual machine. There we go and we are going to run some commands. Now these commands come from the PyHole GitHub page, so you'll be able to find these easily there. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste these into my terminal. So the first one downloads the installed script, which seems to have been successful. The next command We'll change the permissions on that file. And finally, we are going to run the install script. Now this first set of commands, these will install the Open OpenVPN uh, software, which we will need in order to establish a VPN connection. Okay, you'll be asked several questions. I believe most of these you can just leave as their defaults. So, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll leave those all as default. Um, in this one, we will leave it as current system resolvers, but you could, if you wish, change it to something else. And we're going to give the first client a name. This will generate a um, certificate which we'll use to connect to the VPN server. 
and we are ready to complete. So this will take a few minutes to install, uh, depending on the uh, specifications of your server. And there we are, we are done. So there is some information here which I recommend that you read before skipping on to the next section. But the important thing to note is this line here. This is telling you where your VPN connection certificate is and you will need that later on. In fact, what I'm going to do right now before I carry on is copy it to a different location. CP slash. Oops, I should do that using pseudo permissions. There we go. Let's just double check that we've got it. There it is. There's our certificate. And if I cat that, you'll see what it looks like inside. There we go. Right, so I'm gonna run one more command before moving on to the pie hole section. And that is to copy the VPN file to my local machine. And that is using SCP, uh, which is similar to CP uh, copy, secure copy. So SCP. Actually, I will run that on my local machine instead. So let's skip that for a moment. So just clear my screen. Right, so now that we have the VPN installed, we can start working on PyHole. And we are going to run a similar command as we did previously to download the installation script. There we go. But you don't need to change the permissions on this one. We are just going to paste it in and execute it. So again, we'll be asked several questions and it will take uh, a few minutes to install. So the questions will pop up in just a second. There we go. This installer will transform your device into a network wide ad blocker. Yes, yes it will. Okay, okay, okay. Now here, we want to make sure that we select ton zero. And that's because we're gonna be routing everything via the uh, VPN. Okay. You can select your preferred DNS system here. I will be picking Cloudflare as that is my preferred. We can leave that as the defaults. We can leave that as the defaults unless you wish to turn off IP6. For my purposes, I will not be. I will leave it as is. Yes, we're happy to go along with that. If you're using a cloud server, you will have a static IP address. But for my purposes on this demonstration, a dynamic one is perfectly fine. And we will be installing the web interface, as I want to show you that at the end. Um, yeah, so we'll accept these defaults. Login queries, for the time, for this demonstration, I'm gonna leave it turned on. Um, once you're happy with your setup, turn it off. Um, that will prevent any logs being leaked anywhere. Um, privacy mode. I, again, I'm gonna leave this at show everything, um, but depending on what your preferences are, you could set it to any one of those. Uh, anonymous mode is the most secure. Uh, there will be no tracking of clients. There will be no tracking of DNS requests. 
you'll just see a set of statistics of requests and nothing else. But again, for my purposes, I'm just gonna leave it with show everything. And that is done. We will complete the installation, which will take uh, a minute or two. Now again, this will take a varying amount of time depending on specifications of your server, but not normally more than five minutes to install. Once it's finished, I will be able to show you what the web admin side looks like. There we go, configuring your device. We'll click on OK for this one. Now that does give you a default password, uh, which you can see just here. Uh, I would recommend changing that uh, straight away. Uh, I will not be changing it uh, purely because of the demonstration. But I am going to copy it so that I can paste it into the web interface. You can change the password using this command just here, pihole a p. And handily, it tells you what the web address is in order to get to your admin panel. So we are going to go to this so that you can see what pihole looks like. Oops, it should be 172. Or should it? Did I make a mistake? No, I did not. But I'm just going to copy you. Go copy. And pop you in here. And there we go. Apologize for that. Uh, hiccup. So it's a very simple panel. You have your basic statistics here. 76,000 ad blocks are already built in. You can add your own easily enough if you wish. Logging in, which is going to use that password that it provided to us just here. And we're going to log in worry about saving that password. So you get a few extra statistics here. Now I've left it in the default state so you will see all of the domain requests and host requests, client requests. However these can be changed from the settings panel. If you go over here, privacy and you can just select which one you prefer. If you are setting any of these more um, restrictive um, settings, I would recommend going back here to system and disabling query logging and flushing the logs down here. Um, also, at the same time, you can flush the network table and restore the DNS service to clear out any other logs that may be in there already. Okay, so guys, I think that covers everything on how to install Pi-hole and set up your own private VPN server. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Or if you liked our content, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, please rem also remember Pumpkin Tech is a new channel, so your feedback is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.